高。第一个字，无极无对待之真理，世界一性佛性自性。真我二，如家中庸之天命之谓性，也就是说，我们都是老母的分灵，都是兄弟姐妹。The first word means Lu Zi. It is the world of absolute truth with no opposites. It can be explained as one power, true nature, Buddha nature, true self. Two in the doctrine of the mean, what heaven or heavenly mater confers is called true nature. In other words, our spirits came from heavenly mater. In this sense, we all are brothers and sisters because our spirits all came from the same origin. The second word, Taiji, has yin yang, 相对待。诸如日也、善恶、高矮等，也可以理解成一人心；二如家之率性之谓道人们的心思是错综复杂且迷惑的的，因此需要依循着上天所赋予之纯善的天性，走在正道上。The second word means Taiji. It is the world of duality. Duality consists of having two opposites, such as the sun and moon, day and night, good and bad, tall and short, etc. It can be explained as one power mind three in the doctrine of the mean. In accordance with true nature, is called the way. Now, the human mind is complex and often filled with confusions. Therefore, we need to follow the true nature from heaven and take the righteous path. 第三个字，黄极物质的现象世界，它不是永恒不变的。也可以理解成一人身二儒家中庸之修道之谓教。The third word means one G. It is the world of physicality, which is the one we live in. Nothing in this world is permanent. It can be explained as one power physical body. Two in the doctrine of the mean. Cultivating the way now is called education. 要走在正道上，是需要有正确的教育与引导的点。In order to be on the righteous path, we need to have the correct education and guidance. 信心身是一贯的，信在心思万计，生命万能。兴趣、心思、静思、生命不动，依据此诗而已。Our true nature, mind and body are one. Without the true nature, our mind and body are useless. 第四个字是放出去，无所不在。The fourth word means permeating. The greatness of our true nature can permeate the universe. 第五个字是收回来，回到玄关窍底。The fifth word means contracting. Our true nature can contract and return to the heavenly portal. 我们的自信是无所不在的。而且自信是没有分别、没有对待的，才称为无极。无到极点，就是没有分别对待。Our true nature is everywhere. It is absolute. It doesn't discriminate or judge. Thus, it is also known as Lu Ji, which means genuine emptiness. 弥勒也有慈爱之意。修行上，让慈爱布满个宇宙。
，就如同老母及诸佛菩萨对众生的爱是没有空间的限制的。The fourth and fifth words can be combined to mean mercy and loving kindness. As we cultivate, we learn to love all things in the universe with mercy and loving kindness, just like how Lao Mu, Heavenly Mater, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas love all sentient beings without spatial limitations. 常念五字真言，你就与弥勒祖师及供活佛老师有感应，遇困难时感应就快，心不平静时默念五字真言，有问题时静不下来时默念五字真言，就有妙智慧。当念到又一心不乱时，意志可穿越时空，直入佛之愿力之间，让能量发挥到极致。By silently reciting the heavenly mantra often, you will create a strong bond with Maitreya Buddha and Jigon Living Buddha. Then come whenever you encounter some difficulties, Buddhas will get the signal more quickly. When you feel unease or disturbed, recite the heavenly mantra silently in your heart. Then your great wisdom may arise to help you resolve any difficulty. And when you silently recite the heavenly mantra with full attention, your willpower can permeate through time and space and enter the, the power of Buddha's vows. Then, the strength of the mantra will reach ultimate attainment. Kong Lao Fu Zi Shuo Guo, Ren Mo Jian Yu Liu Shui, Er Jian Yu Zi Shui. 诚心专注一念诵五字真言，有助于内心的平静祥和，更清楚地看清自己。遇到事情时，能做出更正确的判断与决定，并更有效地完成工作任务。Confucius said, "Men do not look into a running water as a mirror." But into still water, silently reciting the heavenly mantra with sincerity and full attention helps to pacify our mind. As a result, we can see ourselves more clearly, make judgments and decisions more correctly, and complete daily tasks with more efficiency. Fifth, Bao. The third treasure, heavenly hand sign learning to be forgive. 守抱合同也意味着与仙佛合，与仙佛同，把我们的佛心、自信、愿力和诸佛菩萨的佛心、自信、愿力相合在一起。我们和同修之间要和，才能同人与人之间要和，要同，就要学习树道，也就是己所不欲，勿施于人，学习宽恕。就像耶稣在十字架上所说的话，就是一种宽恕。人与人之间。多一些体谅、宽恕，才能和，才能同。若小同都无法做到，如何世界大同呢？此受印也是回天的一个凭证。Holding the heavenly hand sign means to unify our true nature with Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. It is the unification of our true nature and vows with the true nature and vows of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Similarly, 
we need to unify with all people including other DAO members by getting along with them. We need to learn to be more cooperating, understanding, tolerating, and forgiving, so we can form a perfect union. Confucius said, Do not do unto others as you would not have others do unto you. The last words of Jesus Christ were also words of forgiveness. In order to form a perfect union with others, we have to be more understanding and forgiving. If we cannot form unity with the people in our society, how can we form unity with the rest of the world and achieve great harmony? The heavenly hand sign is also a token for returning to the heavenly home. 现在来探讨一下三宝的修持. Now, let us examine further the practice of the three treasures. 三宝真 藏蕴痕道统真传天命真传心法真传这三样每一样都很重要。The three treasures encompass the true transmission based on the lineage of Tao and the mandate of heaven. It is the wordless heart-to-heart -heart transmission. Each of the three treasures is equally important. 求道时,点传师点的右手点完玄关之后,会用左手在玄关前做一个附带的动作。此动作之意义为何呢?简单的说,左手的手掌心就像一面镜子。要靠我们用此自信之光向内照使自己,也就是一般所称之回光反照,自我请查,自我检视,也是修行的开始。During the Tao receiving ceremony, Tao transmitting Master Puan that our heavenly portal with his right hand and made a gesture of covering it up with his left hand. What does this gesture mean simply speaking, the left palm is a metaphor for a mirror. The gesture signifies the constant use of this mirror to examine our inner selves. Self-introspection and self-examination are the beginning steps of Tao cultivation. 每个人自身有各自性真主人在当家,不是由眼耳鼻舌身意六根产生之六种行径当家,也就是说,不被眼见之事物,而听到之声音。彼此所闻道之气味,舌喉尝道之味道,身体所触,摸道的东西及自身之喜性来,掌控我们。Every single person has a true nature or true master who is in charge of the mind and body. We should not let the six perceptions produced by the six roots of sensation, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, be the master. In other words, we should not let what we see with our eyes, what we hear with our ears, what we smell with our nose, what we taste with our tongue, what we feel with our body, and what we think with our mind. Be in control. Shen 
心性无法再提升，因为我们很少去反省自己，甚至从来不问问自己内心深处什么是我们的真正需求，什么是我们的根本。若不从根本上去下功夫，以为来佛堂听道、听道理就是修道，心性。当然无法提升。Nowadays, everyone lives a very busy life, so we need to spare some time to relax and bring peace back into our mind. Our holy teacher, Jigon Living Buddha, mercifully said, "In your daily life." You need to find a suitable time and place to focus on the heavenly port and empty your thoughts. Then, the peace and harmony around you will attract good affinities. How come our mind hasn't been elevated even though we have cultivated for some time? It is because we seldom examine ourselves. We never introspect ourselves, try to figure out what our needs are and what the root is. If we think doubt cultivation is merely coming to the temple and listening to the Tao lectures, then our mind could never be elevated. The reason is that we do not cultivate from the root. 光可以说是动植物的一个生命之源点和同代表，一阴一阳融合在一起，正负阴阳磁场能相通。手抱合同，平日诚心敬意，叩首礼拜，加上佛光的照耀及平日的行功立德。对身心健康有莫大之注意。Light can be recognized as the source of life for animals and plants. The heavenly hand sign symbolizes the combination of yin and yang and the connection between the positive and negative magnetic fields. When we hold the heavenly hand sign and pay respect to heaven and Buddhas wholeheartedly, the heavenly light will shine on us. This heavenly blessing and the daily accumulation of merits and virtues will benefit us greatly in every aspect. 修持三宝时，首先要做的就是自我的反省。然后向第一宝自信、佛、忏悔、感恩，生生世世以来，我们不断的在轮回、身口意不断造业，污染了自信、佛，让其承担了罪业，不需忏悔。同时，也因为自信的作用，的肉身的一行功立德。利己利人，不需感恩于他。When practicing the three treasures, the first thing we need to do is to truly introspect ourselves. Then, we need to sincerely repent and thank our true nature. We have been through many cycles of life and death. In every cycle. We created karma, good and bad. The bad karma we created had polluted our true nature. At the end of every cycle, we burdened our true nature with the sins we committed. Therefore, we need to repent for the mistakes and bad karma we created with our bodies. However. It is because of the possession of this physical body that we have the opportunity to accumulate merits and virtues and create good karma to benefit ourselves and others. Thus, 
we need to thank our true nature for guiding our physical body in doing these good deeds. 第二宝，诚莫念五字真言，让心中的爱自然流露出来，爱自己，爱众生。第三宝，多包容、宽恕别人。二六十中。无论身在何处，更要时时提醒自己，自己的心，愿力要和天佛菩萨的心，愿力相合。If you silently recite the second treasure, the heavenly mantra, often, then you will naturally love yourself and all sentient beings. If you use the third treasure often, then you will be reminded to be more tolerant and forgiving. Always remind yourself that you need to unify your heart and bows with the heart and bows of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. 道场处处都是行功了月的机会。要多行才师、法师、无畏师，度化更多众生，返回故家乡。如此，必得上天加批波转，不好的业力会逐渐消减，从此改变了命运。当然，当我们在布施或为上天办事时，目的并不在于希望能交换到上天的祝福，让自己得到什么好处。事实上，是因为我们的诚心敬意和无条件的付出感动了上天，继之而来的就是加诸在我们身上的恩典与波转。这是任何人。There are many opportunities within the Tao society for one to accumulate merits and virtues. We need to seize every opportunity to help more people to return to the heavenly home by making some material contributions, truth sharing, and voluntary contributions. As a result. We will receive blessings from heaven. Then we can change our bad fortunes and bad karma into good ones, so our destiny can be changed as well. We do not make material contributions or propagate Tao for the sake of our own benefits. If we do good deeds with sincerity and without asking for anything in return, then heaven will reward us. We will then receive grace and great help from heaven. These blessings will come naturally to us without hindrance. From our prayer from that moment. 我们的姓名就已经登记在生命册上，成了上天的人。上天无时无刻没有不注意着我们，都在看着我们有没有在用三宝，是不是有什么事情需要济公或佛老师帮忙的。From the moment we receive Tao. Our names had been registered in heaven. We had become the citizens of heaven. Therefore, heaven will continue to watch over us to see if we practice the three treasures or need help from holy teacher, Jigon Living Buddha. 现今人类的物质科技虽较以往进步。但幸福的指数并没有提升，而且灾劫越来越多。部分的原因在于人的负向思考与行为、自私与贪婪，造成价值观的扭曲与变相。
，有太多的人对未来都有着不乐观、不安定的感觉。面对着下一代的子孙。我们能留给他们什么呢？想要胜凡如意，就先问自己有没有重胜轻凡。胜是就是上天所在办理的普度众生之事，凡是就是和我们个人相关之人间事。有句俗话说：“你看重上天的事。”上天也必定重视你的事。点。Technology and living conditions have improved tremendously in the 21st century, but the index of happiness hasn't risen at all. In addition, there is an increase of natural and man-made disasters. This is partly caused by humans' negative thinking and behaviors, greed, and selfishness. These thinking and behaviors twisted the values of our society. Therefore, there are a lot of people who are pessimistic and uncertain about the future. So what can we give to the next generation if we want our worldly and holy affairs, the work of heaven, to be smooth and successful? Then we need ask ourselves if we have prioritized our holy affairs over worldly affairs. Holy affairs are defined as activities of truth sharing and doubt propagation, and worldly affairs are defined as our day-to-day -day activities and matters. There is a saying: If you prioritize the work of heaven, heaven will prioritize your affairs as well. 愿大家能在三宝修持上。多下功夫，守住自己的阅历，并实际付诸行动。本着真心佛性，借着的肉身来做佛事，共为三曹普渡而尽心尽力，众生将会因你而得救，你也因众生而成就。如此。世界大同不再是个虚幻的名词，真正的和平必会来到的。I hope everyone will make every effort to practice the three treasures, guard your vows, and put them into action. Remember to make good use of this physical body by following your true nature slash Buddha nature. We can work together to help with the salvation of the three worlds. Because of your efforts, sentient beings can transcend the cycle of life and death. In return, you can succeed because of these sentient beings. Then, great harmony is not just an illusion; it will certainly be achieved. 感谢您，愿上帝赐福与您。Thank you very much. God bless you. 三宝。The three treasures for new Tao receivers. 他人的一生中有许多值得庆贺的事情，但却有更多无价且必须要全力以赴来追求的东西。There are many things in life worth celebrating. However, there are even more priceless things worth pursuing with all our efforts. 两千五百多年前，当释迦牟尼佛仍是王子时，亲眼目睹了人世间之生老病死。他告诉自己。一定要找到一条永恒之路。于是他放弃了王位及荣华富贵
四处去找寻名师及永久解脱的法门。后来，燃灯古佛为他受记，最后他修成了正果，也留下了许多的经典，引导众生开悟正果。About 2,500 years ago, when Sakyamuni Buddha was still a prince, he witnessed the four sufferings of life, birth, old age, sickness and death. He told himself, I've got to find the way that leads to eternity. Thus, he gave up his throne and fortune in search for an enlightening master and the way to eternal liberation. Later, he was initiated by Dipamkara Buddha and eventually reached Buddhahood. Sakyamuni Buddha's teachings were collected by his disciples as sutras. The large collection of sutras has continued to guide sentient beings even till this day. 在一般人的思维里，极有价值、罕有又很不容易得到的东西，而且是人类所一直在追求的，我们才会称之为宝。今天。您在上天的恩典及诸佛菩萨的祝福下求了道，得了三宝。得道就是当初佛陀及古往今来的修行者、宗教家，心毕生之力所追寻的永恒之路。过去因为天时位置，道士单传独授。得道者稀，修行者常要踏破铁鞋无觅处之罕。如今上天慈悲大开普渡，得道者众，求道者可说是得来全不费功夫。虽然得道容易，也是自己累世佛缘根基深厚。祖上有德所至，所以当您求完道时，大家都给您道喜。Generally, we call a precious, valuable, and rare item which is highly sought after as a treasure. Today, because of the grace of heaven and the blessings from all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. You have received Tao and the three treasures. Tao is the way to eternity that Sakyamuni Buddha, countless cultivators, and religious people had been searching all their lives. Before 1930, Tao was transmitted on a one-to-one -one basis. An enlightening master could only transmit Tao to a one qualified individual because the timing for universal Tao transmission was not ripe. The number of people receiving Tao were scarce due to the lack of opportunity to meet with an enlightening master and receive Tao. What a pity! Because of the grace of heaven, now is the time for universal Tao transmission, and therefore, many people had the opportunity to receive Tao. Although it may seem relatively easy to receive Tao, receiving Tao is actually based on your affinity with Buddhas, your deep spiritual foundation and the beneficence of your ancestors. Thus, after you have received Tao, everybody would express their heartfelt joy and congratulate you. 依照三宝来修行的话，可以帮助我们：第一，跳脱生死轮回；第二，净化我们的业力，改变命运。
，最后返回天上的不家乡。Practicing the three treasures can truly help us in the following ways: one, transcending the cycle of life and death; two, cleansing our karma, changing our destiny, and eventually returning to our heavenly home. 一般的人由于业力的牵引，不得不再度来到。的世界上，每来一次就会造些业。慢慢的人生路上，总是有着诸多的不如意、抱怨、忧愁、烦恼、病痛等。面对命运的枷锁与生死的轮回，却不知所措，更无法跳脱出来，实属无奈。Because most people, as destiny, are led by their karma, they have to go through the cycle of life and death repeatedly without choice. Each cycle of life and death would accumulate some karma, good and bad. Therefore, their long journey of life would be filled with different kinds of complaints, worries. Annoyances, sickness, and sufferings. Life's journey is never what we expected. Most people are imprisoned by fate and trapped in the cycle of life and death. They feel helpless because they failed to find a way to become liberated. 我们人的身体只是灵性暂时居住的房子。当生命旅程结束时，灵性会脱离身体，进入另外一个世界。而求道时得到的三宝，就是回天的凭证。这也是人生中最重要的一件事。以下事项是需要您放在心上的，一不要忘记三宝，也不可以泄露三宝；二不反倒拜得三多了愿，多行功立德，如此我们才可以回天上的不家乡。Our physical body is a temporary home for our soul. When the journey of our life comes to an end, our soul will leave the body and enter another world. The three treasures you have received are the token for returning to the heavenly home. They are the most important things in our lives. The following are the three main points that you need to keep in mind. One, do not forget and disclose the three treasures. Two, do not do anything illegal, immoral, or harmful to yourself and others. Three, do as much as you can to fulfill your vows and accumulate merits and virtues. By following these three points, you will be able to return to the heavenly home. 现在，让我们来简单地介绍一下三宝。Now, let us briefly introduce the three treasures. 第一宝，玄关窍，灵性进出的门户。The first treasure, heavenly portal, the main gate to our true nature slash true self. 在庄严神圣的求告仪式中，电传师在我们的玄关跳这么一点，点燃了自信之光明。当下玄关跳立刻现出了如同绿豆大小般之佛光。我们可以看一下个宗教圣人的画像。每位圣人之头部都有一个光圈，此光乃是自信之光。
，借着后续的修行及行功立德，此佛光会逐渐扩大，最后就像各教圣人的光圈一样，地光亮圆满。展现出来的智慧及德行，随着因缘愿力而四处利益众生。During the solemn and holy Tao receiving ceremony, Tao transmitting master Puan that our heavenly portal to illuminate the light of our true nature. A small halo will radiate from the heavenly portal immediately afterwards. If we look at the portraits of the saints from different religions, we will see that they all have one thing in common which is the halo behind each saint's head. The halo is the light emitted from the true nature. The halo will expand in accordance with our cultivation and accumulation of merits and virtues. Eventually, our halos can be as round and bright as the halos of the saints. Then, the wisdom and virtue we exhibit will accompany our vows and affinities to benefit all mankind. 玄关是一个正门，也是修心的下手处。行住坐卧之中，常收束身心，从玄关发出之念头，都是正念、慈悲心、喜舍心、智慧心。心提心念在玄关。在用玄关去听、去看、去应对一切事物，便能与佛菩萨以心应心。Heavenly portal is the main gate of our body. It is also the starting point for us to cultivate our heart. Every day we need to manage our mind and body properly. Each and every thought from the main gate is righteous because it is full of mercy, compassion, joy, giving, and wisdom. Focus our mind slightly on the heavenly portal and use this focused attention to listen, look, and deal with everyday matters. Then. We can unify our heart with the heart of Buddha and Bodhisattvas. 我们求道，是了解我们有个真主人，真主人也是住在我们的家里面。每间房子都会有主人的房间，主人有主人该睡的地方，客人有客人该睡的地方。Receiving Tao is to help us recognize the true Master. Our body is like a house. Now we know that this true Master lives in our house. Every house has a master bedroom. The master bedroom is the room where the master sleeps. In guests have to sleep in the guest rooms because only the master should sleep in the master bedroom. This arrangement should not be altered in any way. 各教经典也有关于玄关窍之论述。子曰。谁能初步有苦和莫由私道也？每个人要走出房子，都要进油门户。的肉体由如火宅，修行者欲跳脱此火宅之束缚，何不走这一条光明大道呢 ？The classics, sutras. And scriptures of different religions all contain descriptions of the heavenly portal. Confucius said, "Who can go out without using the door? So why doesn't he? Anybody follow the way? Now everyone gets out of the house through the door. 
the physical body eyes like a burning house. A cultivator needs to take the correct and bright path in order to break free from the confinement of the burning house. Testimonies of the heavenly portal can also be found in the Holy Bible. The light of the body is the eye. The lamp of the body is the eye, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Matthew 6.22 But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is the darkness. Matthew 6.23 The lamp of thy body is thine eye, when thine eye is single. Thy whole body also is full of light, but when it is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Luke 11.34 You have one It is good for me, you, to enter into a life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into the hell of fire. Matthew 18, 9 After reading the above verses, some questions may arise. For example, should we enter heaven and attain eternal life through the left eye or right eye since the eyes of this physical body will deteriorate one day? How can they help us return to heaven? Once the heavenly portal is opened, if we cultivate Tao sincerely for some period of time, then both our internal and external body parts including our pores will be luminous. This is true for Tao members who have cultivated sincerely and truthfully. However, the light or halo emitted from the body cannot be seen with the naked eye. In the Buddhist Sutra, Sakyamuni Buddha also said, There is the true Dharma in my eye. There is no form, there is no word for it. So where is the true Dharma hidden? Is it hidden inside the left eye or right eye? Or is this Dharma hidden inside the third eye, the eye of the truth? The answer is very clear for any Tao receiver. Fu 
，要善加戒慎保护，莫让他受到污染。慎独的功夫，简单的说，就是存好心，说好话，做好事，以及诸恶莫作，众善奉行。精进永恒地向导前进。In the Confucian classics, a noble person needs to be cautious with the one. The one is referring to our true nature or true self, which is unique and came from heaven. We need to be cautious by protecting it from pollution. In other words, We need to keep a good heart, say good words, and do good things. We need to do all good deeds continuously with all our efforts. 一个人若平日能够时常守玄，祥和之气自然会引发善因缘的发生。佛向上未开光，佛没有被请入。拜他是没用的，那一尊佛不会接受。你本身就是一尊佛，要开光，要求道，求道就是开光。告知你真主人在哪里。If a person can keep his mind focused on the heavenly portal constantly. Then the peaceful energy emitted from him may attract or accumulate good affinities. A Buddha statue needs to be initiated so the spirit of the Buddha will be invited into the statue. Otherwise, it doesn't even matter how often you worship the Buddha; he will not accept your worship. You, yourself. Is a Buddha. Therefore, you need to be initiated by opening up the heavenly portal. How can the heavenly portal be opened? It can only be opened through the Tao receiving ceremony. Receiving Tao helps us to rediscover the location of our true master. We are often distracted. 眼要看，耳耳要听，吃进去的营养也一直在消耗。授权有助于减少营养与能量的消耗，同时让更多营养转为能量，运行于身体，让脉络畅通，减少病痛，促进身体健康。Every day, a lot of our energies and spirits are wasted on the things we see with eyes, we hear with our ears, we think with our mind, etc. Thus, the nutrition for our bodies is constantly being used. When we calm down and focus on the heavenly portal. It helps to lower the energy and nutrition consumption of our bodies. At the same time, it helps to turn more nutrition into energy, transport the energy throughout the entire body, and make the energy channels freer so that the energy can flow with less obstruction. If energy can flow freely, Then we would not get sick so easily. As a result, our health would improve. 第二宝，口诀五字真言。The second treasure, heavenly mantra, the five words. 念五字真言，不是外求净土，而是内生净土。口诀又名五字真言。口之修养也，口清而有人，骂人则口不清，实着者口不清，言实以正，有道也。
reciting the heavenly mantra silently will lead us to the inner pure land within ourselves instead of the pure land on the outside. The heavenly mantra is also called the five words. It is used for the cultivation of the mouth. Benevolence is expressed through a pure mouth. If one curses and consumes impure food, then his mouth is considered to be foul. Therefore, if you say good words and consume pure food, then you can become one with Tao. 第一个字,无极无对待之真理世界一庆佛性自性。真我二如家中庸之天命之谓性也就是说我们都是老母的分灵都是兄弟姐妹。The first word means Luji it is the world of absolute truth with no opposites. It can be explained as one power true nature, mood nature, true self. To in the doctrine of the mean, what heaven or heavenly mater confers is called true nature. In other words, our spirits came from heavenly mater. In this sense, we all are brothers and sisters because our spirits all came from the same origin. The second Ju,如日也,善恶,高矮等。也可以理解成,一人心二如家之,率性之味道人们的心思是错纵复杂且迷惑的的。因此需要依循着上天所赋予之纯善的天性走在正道上。the second word means Taijia is the world of duality. Duality consists of having two opposites such as the sun and moon, day and night, good and bad, tall and short, etc. It can be explained as one power mind three in the doctrine of the mean. In accordance with true nature is called the way Now the human mind is complex and often filled with confusions. Therefore, we need to follow the true nature from heaven and take the righteous path. 第三个字,黄极物质的现象世界,它不是永恒不变的。也可以理解成一人身二如家中庸之修道之味角。The third word means wa 